Hello guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. We are looking at the box which hides an Asus concept product that represents what will say the Express interface have to offer and we are going to take a closer look of it and do a brief performance overview. As you can see the product comes in a plain non-commercialized white box and in it we found the SATA Express SSD as well as a special kind of SATA Express data and power cable connector. There is no official information about this drive but we have seen some other concepts on Computex including this one and now we have a chance to test it out. The case is completely made out of brushed aluminium. On the front side you can see the ASUS logo with Hyper Express writing as well as the SATA Express external reclosure signature underneath it which indicates that this product is probably meant to be a non-standalone complete solution but rather just an enclosure and you'll see why a little bit later. From side angle you can see that the drive is a bit thicker than your usual run of the mill SSD. As you probably noticed the cable is a little bit different than your usual SATA cable. This also goes for the interface itself on the enclosure. That interface combines data and power connectors in one piece, while on the other end you have separate SATA power and SATA data connection. Seems like this way it will be more practical and somewhat it is, but in the end the cable is a bit longer due to the fact that the SATA Express interface is a bit wider than the usual SATA interface. We took apart the enclosure to see the PCB underneath it with S Media controller on it and two M SATA slots which are being populated with two rather dated SanDisk U100 models of M SATA SSD with 128GB of capacity. Basically this creates a form of RAID 0 configuration outputting the performance of both drives as one unified drive. And that's the basic idea of this concept. You buy this enclosure and put your own choice of M SATA or M.2 SSD in it. Asus pre-installed the SanDisk model so we can get a better feel of the product. Your choice of SSD models won't probably be as old and slow as those ones. We connected up the drive to our motherboard and did a test run with some of the benchmarks. As you can see the results are pretty disappointing, but then again we know the reason why. You can also count in the fact that we tested this on Gigabyte motherboard and in this concept stage and being an Asus product we don't think that this drive is optimized for it. All in all this looks like to be a very interesting concept product and we still need to see what will come out of it. Thank you guys once again for checking out our unboxing and brief performance overview of the Asus SATA Express SSD enclosure. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked our video, leave a comment if you have any questions about the product and of course be sure to subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel for more content like this or you can just check out our other videos from before.